Hey y'all, this is Joe, out here in my woods, I'm uh, looking for a place to put me up a shelter, I uh, just got a tarp, I'm going to try to find me a couple of trees, cut a ridge pole across there, put a tarp over it, give me a little bit of shelter, and uh, You can tell the hunters are out here. Uh, give me a fire going. Try to cook me up something to eat. It's been a while just clearing this little trail right here to get into a spot to take you in here. And I can at least walk through this point. You can see there's plenty of woods around here. <laughs> this property was timbered um, about 30 years ago. And it hasn't been touched since. Hence all of the overgrowth. Uh, I don't know what this was at one point. Who knows? But I'm going to try to find a place here with a couple trees that'll work. This is level enough because this is pretty sloped land. Uh, then I'm going to have to clear around. You can see these thorn trees. Uh, it escapes me at the moment what they're called. But I'll remember here directly. Got several kinds of trees out here. Got the Osage Orange. I don't know where. Must be one of these. Uh, but you can see all the balls laying around on the ground. So we've got plenty of those out here. And thorns, oh my goodness. Uh, I don't know what the heck that is. Huh. Almost looks like a lone apple sitting up there by itself. Yeah. This is an apple tree. I don't want to take it down. Man, got plenty of trees around here, but not real big ones, because like I said, it was all timbered. This area looks like a fairly level spot. But as I make my way through here, I see some poplar. I think I might try to use that tree right there and this tree next to me. That looks like about a 10 or 12 foot span. And I might be able to use that tree standing there in the middle. I'll have to clear all this stuff out. All these saplings. There's a nice straight one. If I cut that one, looks like it'd be plenty long enough. So, I'm going to have to get my saw my axe, my hatchet, <laughs> and go to work. Of course, uh, 
All right, to start with, I've got my Husqvarna carpenter's axe, uh, some twine, holding saw, and a parang, and my tarp that I'm going to be using. Not the tarp I would prefer, but I happen to have that one laying around. It's an older tarp. I may as well use it. So, I still haven't decided which tree I'm going to use, but this will help uh, as I clear a bunch of stuff out of the way. Let me take this one down. This will be good for the fire later. The thorns never die. So, keep the wood over here, make a nice tender bundle. This stuff, these thorns I'll throw up in here for right now. Well, that makes it a little better. Whew. I think it's quite the bonus finding an apple tree here at your uh, bushcraft base camp. I don't want to destroy that. I'm just trying to prune it back some. Gotta give a thumbs up to this parang. Who am I laughing at this bear grill stuff, but so far I'm liking it. Alright. Alright. This may, well, let me get that branch out of the way.
All right, this may make a little bit more sense to you as I get some of this cleared out. I already see more light down here. What I'm going to try to do is use this tree right here and this tree. Run a ridge beam across these two. I got to take out this poplar and there's like the poplar has come up and split and it's two trunks coming up. I got to take these out. I got to take one of those hackthorn things or whatever the hell they are. Take one of those out. And there's two trees right over there that I'm going to take out. Looks like one of them is going to be perfect for a ridge beam going across here. So that's the project now. Uh, I'll let you watch. Now with what I have down, and what I have cleared, if I needed to, I could rig me up a shelter right now. Uh, if it was raining, or it was cold and windy, I could rig me up a much smaller shelter, build a fire in front of it, and get through the night without a problem. Uh, the tarp I drug down there is big, bigger than what I needed, but like I said, I had that. I mean, I would be fine with this right here if I just used one of these posts for a ridge beam across here, built around my tarp back in this direction, had my fire pit right out there. I saved my apple tree, and the wind comes this direction. Uh, the sun is setting, so that would be west. I can tell by my shadow. That's east, that's north, and that is south. So I think I would prefer my shelter to be uh, down to the north, you know, blocking the north wind. And that would be wide enough for me to get in here. 
uh, if I put my ridge beam on this side of those tree, those two trees, then I, my ridge beam could be on the outside of them. It could extend another six inches, eight inches on each side of those trees, tie that off, put my tarp around it, and bring it back to here. Uh, to clear that out, but in this one, they're rotten anyway. I'll take that tree down just so it's out of the way. Then everything else I can leave, I have a path coming in to camp. Yeah, that'll work. That's what I'm going to do. Then I can just work on clearing that direction. Wow. A lot of work. So, next weekend, when I get to come back out here, now that I know what I'm doing, I've been able to survey this. I'll run my ridge beam across here, I'll set up my shelter, I'll get that part done, and I'll get the fire ring set up, the fire area set up. But I've got a good ridge beam right there. A good ridge beam for this is laying right there. And that way I don't have to walk a quarter mile getting more wood and bringing it down here. I use what's in this area. But that's all part of it. Man, I'm tired. But it's going to be dark in another hour, hour and a half. I have to go to work tomorrow. This is Sunday, November 27th, or November 26th. Alex is getting ready to head back out on the road, so I'm going to go in and visit with him a little bit more, and, uh, but the biggest thing I wanted to accomplish today, I'd hope to get further along, but I got a trail in here, I got a place cleared for the shelter, for the fire, some of the hard parts are done. I'm going to gather up my gear and head back to Wheeling. Saturday I hope to be out here working on this and then Sunday I hope to be at the cabin uh, working on it. We'll see how that, you know, we'll see what I can actually do. Uh, I like this bit of land. I really want to get back into doing this kind of stuff. This is the weather to do it in. I don't have bugs. I don't have ticks. Uh, this I can get it set up. Do me a few overnighters out here this winter. And it's not hard to get to. Especially cutting in trails. Gonna make it a lot easier. Boy, was this more work than I'd imagined. But this is Joe out here at the bushcraft camp, or what will someday be a bushcraft camp. I'm out. <laughs>